Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hello, good morning, it's me, Zach, and we're back again to watch another Amber Lynn Reed vlog. We've made it to vlog number four of the rebrand, and this might be the most I've talked so far today. It is early in the morning on Friday, <laughs> so uh, I, I sorry that my voice sounds so froggy, but also I feel like honestly for the first time in a while I'm ready to just jump in. I think, well now I'm saying that and there's like a few things I do want to say. First of all, if you didn't see, I've relaunched my merch store. So you can go check that out in the description box below or maybe I'll put it in a pinned comment. But then two, this week's video, today's video, not this week, she's posted more than once this week. Today's video is called Cancer Update Salmon Dinner Recipe and Baby Pics of Me. And the Cancer Update part of that I think is related to her trip or appointment that she had at her oncologist. She alluded that she would be going the next day as long as the melatonin worked or something like that. So I assume that that's what this update is about. I do want to say, this is the part I wanted to give the update about, is that I think, and I don't think I'm alone in this, but whenever I watched the video where she was talking about the medicine that she was prescribed that maybe she wasn't supposed to be for two years. I was under the impression that that person she was talking to was a pharmacist because she was like, oh, I was calling to get my prescription refilled. So in my head, I thought she was talking to a pharmacist. She has since explained on Instagram and like the Instagram Q&As and stuff that she was talking to somebody at her oncologist's office. And that's who said, oh, you're not supposed to be prescribed this. Now, I still stand by, like, don't get your work yourself worked up until you go talk to your oncologist who prescribed it to you to begin with. I think, like, after that, you know, figure out how much you need to be worried or not worried about the fact that they prescribed you this medicine. But I, I would still not just trust Joe Schmo on the phone who picked up a phone, who picked up my phone call and said, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my whole thoughts. I don't know if she should be or shouldn't be taking it because I'm not any kind of medical professional, period. So <laughs> I'm curious what that update will be. I don't imagine I'll have too much to say about it, but what I probably will have something to say about is the salmon dinner recipe, because uh, I just love seeing her cook some shit. <laughs> you, you know that's my, that's like my longtime favorite thing of hers to watch. So yeah, with all of that being said, uh, I think we can get to get to now. So let's get to, let's get to. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Hey. <laughs> Really pale. It's the lighting. It's the lighting. So. <laughs> it's almost as if if you didn't want to look a certain way because of the lighting that you could invest in lighting for your YouTube channel to make you look a different type of way. But then also... Let's just be, let me just say it one more time. Let's not lie, that's not gonna be the last time I say this, but let me say it one more time. Girl, this is how you always look. Like, <laughs> it just, she is really putting me through it. I don't, I, I feel like she's always done this, but it's, it just feels like it's like, to the nth degree lately. The melatonin I took last night worked. Worked. Kicked it around. Like literally work. 30 minutes. Um, but I didn't go to bed until like an hour and a half after taking it. No. I didn't fall asleep. Then, then did it work? How do you know that it worked after 30 minutes if you didn't fall asleep for an hour and a half? When I've taken like melatonin or like Benadryl or when I had COVID for instance, I took NyQuil, that shit knocked me out. And that's how I knew it worked, <laughs> you know? How do you know it was working 30 minutes in, but you didn't fall asleep for another hour after that? I've been normal time what is, lately. 
Also, what is the running water? Why is there running water? Do y'all hear that? Oh my god, I look way too pale. Hold on. Oh, it just looks dark in here, but whatever. Girl, just get some lighting. Find some kind of professional. It doesn't even have to be professional. Just. <laughs> No, no, not me exposing my hair. But I needed to be awake super early today because I have an oncologist appointment. But yeah, melatonin worked. I'm awake. I slept for like six hours, but it's crazy because these six hours feel more rested versus my other six hours that I usually get because that's such a weird time. So, oh hi, I look blue. I just wanna- Oh my God, another, I look, I look weird. Yeah, she did look blue there, I will say that. But she still looks exactly, you know, I don't, I don't understand what she thinks is changing. Congrats to me. Oh, let me take some of this off because when we went to Target yesterday, we got the salmon, we got the shrimp, we got the cat food. What about the, the edamame? What about the edamame? I feel pretty rested, but I feel like I'm gonna get like super tired later, so I <laughs> might take a nap. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> uh. I'm so fascinated that she like is that that's just classic Amberlynn to be like, oh yeah, that was the best six hours of my life of sleep. It's so great, but also I'm still very tired, so I'm probably gonna take a nap. <laughs> Which may be true. Like maybe that's a better six hours than she has been getting. I just think it's like I don't. It's just so funny. It's just classic Amberlynn to say something and then immediately contradict yourself. I also, you know, here's here's another reason why. The comments about the lighting and feeling like she looks a certain kind of way because of the lighting or sometimes it's not even because of lighting. All of this is so wild to me because then we come up on shots that look just like this right here, right here, where she could, she, she's in charge of this angle. She doesn't have to film at this angle, but chooses to. So it's like, why do you care what you look like when, when you're literally filming from your chest piece up? I don't get it. Okay, so we're here at the cancer center and I'm sad. Okay, bye. I'm having the um, chocolate peanut butter premier protein, which I've never tried it before. So we're gonna try All it right. together. All right, work. And just a comment. I, I love this. I love the pre premier protein journey she's on right now. Even <laughs> even though there's all these concerns of it being recalled, I love it. It's not really breakfast. I just call it what I have when I first wake up. Okay. I have already taken my nap. I've already gotten my results. Your back. nap? I've already done all your, your morning nap? What time of day is it? They, you, I thought, you know, sometimes if I don't get the best sleep, I tough it out until I go get to the afternoon and then I'm like, I'll take a little afternoon nap. What, where are we at in the day? Uh, I look like I've been asleep. <laughs> yeah. Um, you so look like you nap. always look. No are you always sleeping? Are you always sleeping? Because it looks like you just woke up all the time then. Because this is how you look every time you get on camera, bestie. Melatonin. Okay, I don't remember my dreams. Very rare. But melatonin gave me some wild dreams. Uh -huh. Like, me and my girlfriend were, like, in a car that, like, drove itself. We were, like, I was getting, in a like, car. constantly ate by rat. By your, your girlfriend? <laughs> The square root of 69 is eight something, right? Because I've been trying to work it out. Thank you, Drake, for that math rap. Little snakes, I don't know, and I had to like take them off of me and like throw them. It was really weird. I'm not trying to make people not take melatonin because definitely do it if you're having trouble sleeping because I was actually able to- You, sh you shouldn't be trying to convince people to do any kind of medicine. <laughs> you are not somebody that anybody should be looking to for medicine advice. If you have questions about a, a vitamin, a melatonin, any kind of medicine, Ozempic, don't go to Amberlynn for advice. Talk to your doctor or your pharmacist. Rested, did not wake up not once throughout the night, which I usually do. So it was like great stuff. Right now I'm like super allergies right now. Okay. So my appointment. So I went in. 
What's so funny? I said, I have an appointment for 8 o'clock with blah, blah, blah. My name is Amber Reed, R-E-I-D, birthday 12-27-90. Work. They said, your appointment's not in the system. Okay. I had an appointment with my oncologist because I've been taking estradiol for two years after having endometrial, which is uterine cancer, uh -huh. and I had a hysterectomy, and after my hysterectomy, they said, you're going to be taking this for the rest of your life, so I trusted them. I've been getting refills, you guys. It's been 24 uh -huh. months now, and no one has said anything until this month. They said, you should not be taking this. Why are you taking this? Because I was prescribed. So. Okay, well, I'll also... <laughs> Also, I I think my my issue with this, obviously, if there was a mistake and, and I was in her shoes, if there was a mistake and I was taking some kind of medicine that could potentially harm me sooner or harm me because I was taking it and I shouldn't be taking it, I would obviously also be upset. Like, I'm not taking that away from her, but I'm also just like, what kind of research did you do about this? <laughs> Like, like you, you're just now upset because you're just finding out about it. You also have been doing this for two years, which granted, like, we do want to trust our healthcare providers. And I think, like, you know, sometimes a lot of people just take it at face value and, like, a, a doctor tells us to do something. The level of, like, you could have also researched some of this. But you know what? I'll give her a pass for it. I would probably also be very upset. So they're like, you need to come in. You, we need to have like a checkup and see what's going on, like who prescribed this to you. Like everyone was so confused. I wasn't even in their system. I don't even know. So we scheduled an appointment for today, the 21st of uh -huh. July. Uh huh. I go in the 21st of July and they said that I'm still not in the system, that my appointment wasn't scheduled. My oncologist is super popular, super amazing. So her schedule was all filled. So I had to see a nurse practitioner. No. Which is totes fine. Because. That no, that is fine. But also, why why are we not talking to the person who prescribed you this medicine? That's who we need to find and figure out. So I had to see a nurse practitioner, and I was kind of nervous about it because, like, obviously I wanted to see my oncologist because she knows about my history and such. Um, so I saw the nurse practitioner. Oh, by the way, my blood pressure was 111 over 70. So, oh. oh, oh. Healthy queen. I'm just kidding. Um, let's try this real quick. <laughs> it's hard to, I want to take you seriously because you're giving a serious fucking update about your health and you're like making jokes about your blood pressure and being a healthy queen. <sighs> like, what are we doing here, Amber? And then I'll keep going with the story time because this is insane. Okay, so chocolate peanut butter, it better be good. I'm gonna get so mad, I'm gonna get so mad. I'm gonna be okay. so angry, I'm gonna throw this cup across the room if it's bad. I'm gonna be so angry. <gasps> oh my God, so good. For a protein shake, this is good. For, so the here's the thing. I don't don't qualify that with for a protein shake because that makes it sound like you don't like protein shakes, and I'm not sure where you thought you had to drink a protein shake every morning. So so don't say it like that. If you don't like protein shakes, don't drink them. Get your protein other ways. Nurse practitioner, uh, when I told her why I was there, I, I she had fear in her eyes. She did. She Did said she? you should not be taking this medicine because it has now increased the chances of you getting cancer again. And patients with your history should not be taking it. Sh sure. Should I sue them? <laughs> Malpractice? Again, why is she joking about this? Like, I don't, if that's something you seriously want to sue about, but like, I, I don't know, maybe this is just her way of dealing with something that's very serious. For me, I would probably not be joking about it. I, like I said, I could probably understand if she was like really angry about it, to be honest with you. I don't understand. She was completely shocked. She was like, sorry, I'm making jokes out of the situation because okay. I, for one, am a little like terrified here. Okay, all right, fair, fair enough, fair enough. So she's trying to figure out who prescribed me the medicine, which there has been several doctors who have. Oh, I'm also just confused, like, why don't you know? Why don't you know who prescribed you that medicine? That's, I mean, I'm sure you, between all of the different things that you've been working on and, like, have experienced, and, like, I'm sure you, at some point, 
got prescribed stuff from like your surgeon and your oncologist and whoever, whatever. But like, why don't you know who prescribed it to you? Does that not come on the bottle? Does it not say like prescribed by XYZ doctor? That's what I'm confused about. Why don't you know? Because like, I remember some of my pill bottles, like there was just like, I remember at first it was my oncologist Uh and then it was someone else. It was a male, actually it was a male name that I don't even know who it was was a few times and then there was a new girl on my uh bottle because you know like when you get something prescribed like the doctor's name is on it Uh i don't understand what's happening well so this is this is the part where i'm like you don't seem very informed about like your health care and things like that like that that's what's confusing to me because i would just go straight to the source straight to the source of whoever prescribed it to me even when i went in there and they were like looking through my file they had nothing on me it was so strange i i feel like honestly i'm partially in the twilight zone right now i i feel like also this is gonna lead to like so many of the amber lynn reed conspiracy theorists that took nikocado avocado implying that Amber Lynn Reed lied about cancer. And I feel like they're gonna run with this, like, oh, you're not even in their system. It must be because you're lying. And I just I just want to put out there, full stop, very clear from me, that I don't believe that she lied about that, okay? Unless there's some hardcore proof, but everything I've seen is just conspiracy stuff. And she's like actually showed medical documentation from that time. So like Unless something comes out, which like I'll 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 put my foot in my mouth. I'll eat my foot. I'll eat my shoe. I won't actually eat a shoe, but but you know what I'm saying. I but I do feel like this is gonna feed the conspiracy theorists. Y'all are eating well tonight because she's she can't remember who prescribed her something, and she's not even allegedly in in the cancer center's database. So there you go. I suppose. Y'all are going to have have significant stuff to eat from and, and continue the conspiracy theories. The nurse practitioner was very honest, very open. The old and nurse so practitioner. So she um, got my blood taken and we did like a cancer marker thing. And in the middle of my nap, she called and I said, hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, and I'm good. She said it was good. perfect. I um, love that for they, you. Like, I don't really know that, like the technical terms, but the number's supposed to be below 40, and mine was five. So that's really, really good. Good, um, great. Uh, so I'm done with estrogen, you guys. I'm officially going through like actual menopause. I'm scared. This is a scary situation. Sure. I'm anxious. I'm worried. Yeah, it was really weird to actually be back in the cancer center. It brought back a lot of memories because, like, in the beginning, I was there all the time. And I have a little bit of regret. I wish I would have filmed my cancer journey a little bit more because there's a lot of things I went through that I wish I had documented, honestly. And that's one of the reasons why I love vlogging because I have all this stuff documented and I like to go back and look at it and such. I do find that interesting because she talks a lot about how a lot of that is triggering for her, things related to the time when she had cancer or was going through that process was triggering for her, which I think is like a reasonable response. Like if there's stuff that happened during a very traumatic part of your life to be like reminded of that is probably a lot. So it's now interesting and fascinating to me that Um, you know, that that's something she wished she would have documented more. Although I could understand that as well, you know. I just, it it seems to be a departure from what she's previously said about that experience or, like, other things that have been triggering for her um, because of that experience. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I think it's time to peel this because (laughs) I'm a little, I can't even say I'm a little hungry, actually, because I'm not. Like, this is Zempic. I don't feel like... So if you're not hungry, eating the orange yesterday and today um i don't feel as nauseous which is really good it's just i don't have an appetite really and okay the th- point. then don't eat the the cutie save the cutie hi <laughs> 
a little bit for me. So, um, I really want to tell you guys my weight. <laughs> but the, these little laughs and shits like that are driving me nuts. This video, <laughs> the little, <laughs> it's driving me nuts. I kind of want to wait a little bit. Yeah, I'm just excited for, with my progress. I'm excited with my meal planning. Um, I've been cooking every meal. I've been doing wow. it myself. Um, wow. <laughs> Pan a rose on your nose, girl. Yes. Ooh. Too sensitivity. I also keep my mandarins oh. in the fridge. Oh, oh, now, oh, now we're gonna make a big deal about the tooth sensitivity. Now we are. Not when we sat and like watched you eat ice cream and all of those things, but when you're eating, when you're eating a fucking cutie, <laughs> when you're eating a fucking mandarin orange. Oh, that that's that's where. Not when it's the cold ice cream or things like that. Okay, I got you, girl. I got you, girly. You could have also just not fucking eaten this anyway since you said you weren't even hungry, but neither here nor there, I guess. I think it's both here and there, to be honest. So that was cold. It hurt my tooth. <laughs> I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart while wa trying to actively put myself together. Oh. I love that for me. Where normally I'm falling apart <laughs> and I let myself continue falling apart. Oh, oh my God. Not this time. <laughs> Not this time. This time it's different. Also, that bite didn't bother your teeth? That bite of orange didn't bother your teeth? Amberlynn Reed? She's getting her shit together. Is she? She is. You see me roll? See? Why? Why? <laughs> I swear she's just doing this to be annoying at this point. She's just doing this to... I'm gonna stop paying attention to this. I'm gonna stop paying attention to the the chess piece situation and and move forward in my life because I can't she's doing this to get at me I, I I'm not that conceited to think that she thinks about me like that but I just know I just know <laughs> what are, what are we doing all right so, so quirky we're at post Malone's house posties just kidding, we're at the post office. I have boxes to send off to my cousin. Uh -huh. And then I want to check my P.O. box. I do have a P.O. box. It's down she the sure below. does. Send me a letter because I love reading letters. She hasn't brought it up lately, but I'm, I'm curious what people are sending her. Oh, oh look at God. all that. I have letters. Letters. We get letters. We get lots and lots of letters. That's from like, I feel like that's from like David Letterman. I think what I intended to sing was the, here's the mail and never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Mail. But instead I sing that, that little jingle from the David Letterman show. I don't know why that came to my head. <gasps> Thank you guys! Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I keep all your okay. kids' letters. Well, at least some of that looked like junk mail. Okay, let's not get emotional <laughs> at post office. I do have some, like, ads. Okay, I, I, I have a trash correct. for. Thank god. Because I get, like, these magazines. What am I gonna do? I don't, oh god. I don't know. A letter. Letter number one. Us trash. Like this angle. Trash. This, this angle. Letter number two. This acute obtuse angle. <laughs> like, what are we supposed to be looking at right now? Oh, oh my god, wait. Trash. I love cinematographer I this thing. Oh my god. I should show you guys my collection of letters. Yes, I please. Want. I would and like I'm to never see gonna throw them away. I would like to I see it. You guys so much. You have no idea. Okay, so I'm about to make salmon. Oh, here's what I've been waiting for. It took it took us about 13 minutes to get here, but we're finally seeing the salmon recipe. I'm so excited. And I'm just gonna put it in the oven because that's the only way I've ever done it. Famously, uh, you know, when she made salmon on her channel, she sprayed it with Pam. I think Michael B. Petty s said something about the Pam that y'all love to quote. And 
Also, I recreated her original salmon recipe. I don't like seafood, just for the record. Uh, I personally also have no idea how to cook it because I don't like it, so I don't cook it, you know? Um, <laughs> but, but I have recreated that on my channel if you want to go search it out and seek it out. So let's just see what she does here. So I'm gonna spray my baking sheet, which I have aluminum foil on. Also, what is this piece of aluminum foil? Why, why is it, why is it so little? Like, I don't know, when I, when I cook something on a baking sheet and I put aluminum foil, I usually just cover the whole baking sheet because that piece of aluminum foil isn't gonna do anything to like keep that pan clean. If it's just, if it's not covering the whole thing, because the juices from the salmon, the oil, that's all going to go onto the baking sheet and you're going to, you're going to have to, it's going to be harder to clean anyway. So if you're going to put aluminum foil on anyways, just cover the whole thing, then you can crumple up the aluminum foil and the, the pan is now going to be much easier to wash. I don't understand. Extra virgin olive oil. I'm and see, I'm sure place my salmon down. I'm sure she just like totally got some of that on the sheet as well. Obviously. I'm gonna add some garlic powder to it. Uh-huh. Some pepper. Uh-huh. I love pepper. Oh, do you? A bit you? of salt. Wow, you're the seasoning so and fancy. That's really all I'm doing to it. I'm also gonna have some rice. I'm gonna have some zucchini. Well, that was a much better improvement upon the last salmon recipe because she literally had like a dusting, like a layer of garlic powder and onion powder. It was like at least a millimeter thick. Right, I'm just gonna add some oil to a pan for my zucchini and I'm also gonna have a little bit of onion as well. Does she just think- Just because it's good flavor. So there's my zucchini. You know, there are other things that add flavor to things besides just onion. I mean, like, please put onion in it, but, like, you could put seasonings on it. Like, I, <laughs> you could add literally any seasoning besides just onion. I'm going to season my zucchini oh, with good. some pepper. Okay, okay, I just need to be patient. Some garlic salt. Of course. Oh, my God, I'm all that salt. Add the onion. Once the zucchini is about halfway done. Okay, now I'm going to add some onion. Just some slivers to add some flavor. You know, this is, I mean, she she did season it a little bit, but like still I have a, this feeling that this is all gonna be so bland. And I wish she could just realize that like, food doesn't have to be bland. Like look up a recipe, <laughs> find a recipe, try a recipe. So I'm also having corn in the cob. And Stunning. this is how, I season my corn in the cob, okay? So, bosh. I'm gonna guess that it's like, what? Garlic, salt, pepper. <laughs> Cause that's all you've used so far to season anything. Okay, so I'm gonna take some butter. Oh, okay, butter. Country crock. I think Nothing special. I think country crock is actually margarine. I know some people in the in the comments are gonna be particularly concerned that she's calling that butter. But I don't know. As somebody who grew up in a family that used margarine but called it butter, I'm not I'm not gonna split hairs over that. And I'm gonna add it to the plate. And I'm going Why? to roll it. Why? Or smear it. Why? <laughs> this is the most asinine way to do this. I have to believe. I have to believe that this is the most asinine way to do this. I know this is weird, but... Not weird, just dumb. It's not weird, it's dumb. I'm a quirky girl, what can I oh, say? Shut My girlfriend's up. also having corn on the cob, so... She's also gonna use this plate. You guys are probably gonna judge so hard for this, which is I'm not cool and fine. I mean, I feel like you're purposely doing this knowing it's gonna get a response. Like, the way you're talking about it, it's like, you know, you know exactly what you're doing here. This is just stupid. And, and you know what? I don't know if I'm gonna give you more, any more satisfaction by getting any other kind of reaction out of me, outside of me calling it dumb. Because that's just what it is. This is stupid. Why are you smearing butter on a plate? Why not just literally take the knife and smear it on the corn on the cob? So I add a little bit of salt on top of the butter. I add pepper on so top of the butter. This is so okay? stupid. 
Just bear this with is me. It's literally so dumb. I promise. It's a great invention. It's All not. Right, it, so it's not an invention. We corn. This is. We add another corn. <laughs> so dumb. I'm having two. And she's having. You, you're not one. even. You're not even getting the butter on the corn. <laughs> the butter is barely sticking to the corn. There's only 50 calories for one of these, and then there. I just roll. It's so inefficient. It's so inefficient because you're not even really getting the butter and seasoning on the corn. Look how much seasoning is still on the plate even after. You literally roll it around. And they just like have the time of their lives. And I noticed by doing this, I actually save on calories. Why? And also save on like the sodium. Cause look, look at all the peppers still on the plate. It's not even going on to the corn. If I was just to straight up add these things to the corn and the cob, I add more salt and I add more butter when I do that, so... But you're... But this way you're getting zero flavor. Because ain't none of that shit sticking. Yeah. That's literally... There's like two... All you do. Two specks... And... Two specks of pepper on, on that corn. The rest of it's on the plate. Since the corn's hot, it melts the butter and all that. So now let's make my actual... I'm... I'm so annoyed with health tip Lynn over here. Like, sure, say, save on the calories. First of all, you don't even like to track or count your olive oil that you use. But yes, let's let, let's get technical about all the calories you're saving from the butter you put on your corn. Okay, but it's not even going on the corn. So yeah, and that way you're saving all kinds of calories. All, why is my knee up here? Oh uh, yeah, you're saving all kinds of calories because it's not even getting on the fucking corn. Okay, so I'm gonna add my jasmine rice. Perfect. I mean, basmati, sorry. Whatever. Uh, it's just a serving. Is that, that's one serving? That looks like two cups of rice. I have like serious concerns about her ability to judge how much rice she's eating. One serving. That looks like two cups to me. I like me, to have but two, but I ain't got the calories for it like that rotten right nail. I don't know what that accent was. And then over here, I'm gonna add my zucchini. Okay. And you know I'm, what? That that looks like it might have some flavor on it. Now I'm going to add my corn. That bland ass which corn. I just put right there. So far, it's all looking real bland. Okay, now I'm gonna add my salmon. And that looks like it's just got like a, a concentration of a lot of pepper in one spot. <laughs> That does not look like any kind of flavor is going to be distributed evenly. If you see this little cut right here, it's because I had to make sure it was cooked sure. to my liking. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of soy sauce okay. and a little bit of sriracha. Of course. Of course. Because so you, you didn't have flavor on it literally anywhere else in this dish. So I guess sriracha... Sriracha's gonna have to carry the team here. <laughs> Sriracha is the MVP because ain't no flavor anywhere else in this dish. It's 470 calories. Wow. I, I am so. I feel like that's gotta be off. I mean, the, the vegetables aren't gonna add a lot to that calorie count, but that's like two servings of rice. And I'm sure the salmon, well, salmon's like a lean protein, I guess. I don't know. Listen, we all know that her concept of calorie counting is a little off. So excited. And yes, I use a thermometer because let me tell you, I am weird when it comes to meat. Well, okay, so I'm listen, to food thermometers are a good investment. I, I won't, I won't shade you for that, bestie. In here realizing like my hair is always up. In a messy bun. Uh, Always. Yeah. The minute it's sure. dry after I wash it, I put it up in a bun. Okay. So, I've had long hair for a majority of my life. Let's chop it all off. Can we bring back hashtag get a bob? <laughs> Can we bring back the get a bob movement? I used to have really short hair, which I could post... I think I have a get a bob. Videos. I don't know. Get a I bob. Post, get uh, get get get, get a bob. My childhood, my hair was like up to my freaking 
chin sometimes sure. my mouth like my hair was super short i always wanted long hair so i finally did it but my question is for any of you long haired gals uh -huh. pals non-binaries i'm wondering i am obsessed i i've seen some of these pictures before but i have it like this one i don't think i've ever seen this before it's it's so fascinating how we can like look so much like ourselves as children what do you guys do with your long hair that was like such a dumb comment for me of course we look like ourselves as children but, but this <laughs> looks like amber lynn as a kid it's like exactly what i would expect what are your favorite styles you should definitely message me on Instagram and let me know. Do you, because but like, do you even respond? Didn't you just recently in a video say you can't respond or don't respond to Instagram DMs? This is why I don't understand her. Nothing's consistent ever. Not even her responding or not responding to DMs on Instagram. I kind of want to start wearing my side braid again because I did that for a long time. I want time, you to get so a bob. I just need advice. Can, so, can you all just message her and tell her to get a bob? That's really the answer. That's really the answer. She wants hair advice. Tell her to get a bob. That's that's all she needs to do. She would look great with a bob. Oh, Ozempic update. Still going good. This second okay. week is definitely helping a Work. lot with my appetite. Um, Ozempic, I can definitely say works. Um, I can't find like a coincidence. Like there's nothing okay. else that could possibly Th be. There's, there's no coincidence, but when it didn't work immediately, the first week you were on it, you you were ready to say that it wasn't working. This, <laughs> this is what like, her logic doesn't, does not track. Her logic doesn't track. If something's going well for her, she's always ready to be like, oh, it's working for me. But if it's, if it's not, if she just hasn't given it a chance, it's like the, immediately the worst thing ever. I'm not saying that there is a coincidence here or not. She, she wants you to know that there's not. She's positive that there isn't. But there could be, she's just ready to rule it out because everything's going well right now. But the second something doesn't work out with it, she's gonna be like, well, you know, I think it was just a coincidence that it worked because now it's not and I'm I'm quitting. You know, that's, that's how she thinks about these things. It's so frustrating. Just let it do what it's supposed to do. Uh, making me lose my appetite because it was almost like literally a couple hours after my second sh injection. I don't um, that I noticed the appetite suppressant. It worked within a couple hours after the second one, so we're da we're down to be be cool about it. But it, since it didn't work that quickly at the first shot, you see where I'm going with this? Do you, are we on the same page? Um, I am counting calories and such, which I'll explain in another video. I don't want to over, you know. Bard, oh, bard. What? Oh, what I was trying God. to say is I don't want to bombard you guys Thank with you. too much information. I, I would hate to be bombarded by too much information in one of your videos. I mean, it's it's possible we could have just cut some stuff out of most of your videos. But actually, I would say you have given a lot of, like, actual information so far in this one. So thank you. Thanks for not overwhelming me with too much information. I don't think my little tiny pea brain could take it. I don't think my little tiny two brain cells that just like rub together could take it. Also, we're gonna do a little life update. Oh, what's it is a this? book. This is my Kindle. Oh, this, oh, um, the book, the book. I thought, <laughs> I thought when she said that she was doing a little life update, like it was gonna be a little life update about her life. But no, she's talking about the book, the book. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Which also, she brought up this Kindle. And a lot of you pointed out, and I don't know how I didn't notice this, that she bought all those fucking poetry books when she had just bought this goddamn Kindle. <laughs> like, what, what are we doing? You guys, that book, wow, I'm on page 174. And what one of the characters, his name is Jude, what he has been through... Oh, when he was a child, my God, my heart rips for him. And I heard a lot of people saying like, the book has no plot or whatever. I disagree. I feel like following the life of someone or a few people to me is a plot. It's sharing a story about someone's life. Um, yeah, like that's a plot to me. I don't know how it's not. Like, yeah, <laughs> in my opinion, you know, <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a plot to me. I don't know. Listen, I've cut out most of this, but her being all philosophical and trying to decide what is and isn't a plot in some in literature. <laughs> I, I think the thing is, is like, I'm sure anything could be a plot, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's like a good plot, a good story, a plot that matters, a plot that people care about. I mean, I've never read this book, so I couldn't tell you if it has a, a good plot or not. But like, n just because just because it's telling what happened doesn't mean that there's like a plot. Like, how much do you know about books or understand about the concepts of, of plot and literary narrative and things like that? I mean, I'm not a big reader. I'm not a big English literature person myself, but <laughs> I at least know some basics about it, girly. You're supposed to be this, like, I don't know, literary ex- well, not expert. I don't think she would call herself an expert, but, like, this is supposed to be your hobby, reading all these books. And, like, the way you talk about it is just <laughs> so- so silly. I mean, enjoy what you like, too. Like, if you enjoy this book, great. I love that for you. It just- so funny how you how you talk about things that you apparently care about. Books that have plots, they usually have that climax and such. But sometimes I feel like books, when you when it's literally just sharing someone's life, I feel like there's several climaxes because Ooh. several different things. <laughs> what, what do you know about several climaxes? Am I right? Am I right? So I'm just, in, I'm enjoying it. Um, well, I'm glad you are. The writing is very interesting. There's a lot of run-on sentences, but I'm totally fine with that. It's okay. Uh, um, well, I, w I would expect you, the queen of grammar, or not the queen of grammar, being totally fine <laughs> with run-on sentences. I'm not surprised that you're chill with that, you know? Which it is like a, a writing device like I know like in poetry or sometimes in just like regular novels and stuff like that that is a way that people like try to convey meaning in in literature but but yeah not not surprised that Amber Lynn doesn't give a shit about some run-on sentences look at this one. Oh, oh look at God. look at Rarity just chilling on her chest piece I'm gonna go give my parrot um, some lovin's. Okay. Are you a parrot now? Are we Do done? You had to talk. Are we good? Oh my goodness. Are we done? Oh, okay. look at her but butthole. Face, I swear the first thing that she would say is, Mama, I'm obsessed with you because she really, really is, like, you actually obsessed. But you know, well, I'm upset. same. I'm also obsessed with you, Amber Lynn. So me and me and Rarity Gay, we're on the we're on the same page. Us with her too. There yeah. you go. There you go. Are we done? Can I click off this video yet? Oh my god. You, Anyways, you gonna give your cat open mouth kisses? <laughs> I am gonna edit my last vlog and just chill out. Work. Um, I don't know if I'll see you guys for the rest of the night, but if I do. Hi, you'll see me then, but if I don't, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. All right, bye. Bye. Uh, that video was interesting. I feel like we got some interesting updates. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that things seem to be going well, at least health-wise, cancer-wise, with, with Amber Lynn. I hope they continue to go well. I still have, like, a lot of questions about why she doesn't know who prescribed that to her. That feels like a little off to me, but <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's a thing that happens for people. They just don't know who prescribes them medicine and then takes it because, yeah, I don't, I don't know that I would take a medicine if I didn't know who prescribed it to me, you know? But I also can't imagine a world where that would even be a possibility. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell button so you get a notification. Please go check out my merch store if you're interested in getting any fun, cool Zachary Michael merch. And make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I had so much fun today. I hope you did too, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!